Yeah, I mean, have you ever tasted heavy construction machinery? Have you? I don't know, maybe. My weekends are usually kind of a blur, like last Saturday. There will be plenty of time to chronicle your sexploits later, Polly. Right now, we need to focus on these food picks. While Liam and Polly were busy bantering, you were busily arranging a dope food pick of your own, and now to complete your masterpiece. A food pick, but instead of food, it's just a bottle of whiskey with ketchup on it. A food pick of Liam taking a food pick. So meta. Let's just do this one. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, I love liquid lunch. Wait, but you don't eat or drink. That's why I allowed you at, at my extremely cool food pick table. How do you even drink liquor? Duh, I make an alive person drink it and then I possess them and suck the drunkness out of them, obviously. I suppose that's not too terribly dissimilar to how I get drunk, but why why put ketchup on the whiskey bottle? Um, so it counts as food? You can't just drink a bottle of whiskey without ketchup on it for lunch. That wouldn't be a meal. Ah. You can't argue, argue with that logic, nor do you want to, because then how would you justify getting drunk at lunchtime? How do I use this event thing I have? Mm. Where do I want to go? Library will probably just get you smart, right? Let's go anyway, we haven't gone yet. That day you spent- oh, okay, the I didn't realize there was PCs in there. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. I gained some money. You spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. Well, this is the first time we haven't seen Polly. You spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket. Ah, okay, this is the event. You wear it as if you were a goofy ghost and approach them with a spooky boo while Miranda is explaining something to Scott. And that's why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst and also most likely tied to the disappearance of Mars Argo. Oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? What are you talking about? Oh, gasp. I didn't see you there, so ghostly. You guys are joking, right? This is clearly just Valky wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Yeah, Liam. You don't see anyone saying, Oh, Liam is really just Valky wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times we suspected it was so. What? Oh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. That's true, tell us. Do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh, yes, divulge, divulge. Basic ghost knowledge. Ghost's main power is levitating stuff. Ultimate ghost prank haunts someone into despair. I don't know which one I'd do. Oh. Is it because my fun is bad? I don't know. You spot a victim for your prank, the coven. You start running in thy direction while screaming your best boo to date. Oh, this is the coven. What's this? Maybe it's a minion of Queen Nehel Nehelenia. Rumors say she's preparing to be the big bad of next season. Stop booing at us. It's hard enough as it is to save the world on a daily basis. We don't need people here under undermining our morale. Stop booing. This school is unbelievable. They go running, looking for a place to recover from all the booing and undermining. Oh no, what have we done? We made them miserable by forcing our little ghost friend to haunt them with its ghost power. You do realize she just ran at them while booing, right? The only thing I realize is that too much ghost power in our hands has made us evil. We've got no time to lose. We need to start living lives of good deeds so we can be forgiven for this. You're right, Scott. Maybe in 10 or 20 years we can be redeemed for this moment of weakness. At least you've led Miranda and Scott onto a path of goodness. Nah, this has been a failure for sure. You lose two smarts and one fun. It is like rolling a fucking dice. Alright. Just go outdoors again. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine until Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing, but you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Moussaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Moussaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Moussaka altogether. It's a party to remember, you gain two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. 
You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles, but I think it's time we monetize. Sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like, I don't want to stop making people look dumb so we can make money. I don't want to sell out. Personally, I can't wait to sell out, but you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question is, of course, how do we do both? Yeah, how do we get rich off yanking people's chains? Ugh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for ghosts. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution? Why don't you make up a phony workout craze? It worked for Frank Pilates, the inventor of Pilates. Oh man, do I have a great prank for you. I call it stealing. Um... I don't know. Like, the more I get these wrong, the more I'm just like, I don't know, it's like 50-50 chance, you know? Um... This one. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's so good. We can make up a bunch of ridiculous exercises like tongue squats and dick crunches and encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. Let's see, one week subscription to our proprietary exercise tracker for one dollar. $49.99 for every hour thereafter. I think we might actually turn a profit on this one, Polly. And hey, if a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, I'm not going to complain if you know what I mean. You have no idea what you've just unleashed onto the world, but these two seem happy with you. You gain plus one creativity and two smarts. I'm not going to make it to prom, am I? Not with Polly. Let's go. Polly and Miranda sit together surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. Oh. What's a surf? So wait, you've actually got serfs who eat for you? Disgraceful. Servants? You mean? Well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to... A surf... Is that a V or an R? Where's an R? This, it's an R, okay. A surf to experience difficult emotions for me and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. Wow, that's a lot of surfs. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from my surfdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. Well, I'm sure with the help of Valky, we could probably think up a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Oh, Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf. It's just like 50 cute dogs. Or you should get a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. Obviously, I'm going to choose the one that she likes. A surf? For me? I couldn't possibly. Why not? I do it all the time. But isn't it wrong to make someone else experience the negative consequences of your actions? Well, like I said, I do it all the time, and Father says I can do no wrong, therefore it's probably fine. Oh, okay, hell yeah. Let's hire a dude to deal with all my withdrawal symptoms. Hire? Polly dearest, we don't pay our serfs. We don't? Sweet deal. Polly hires the burliest hangover surf she can find, and the two of you go out for the night of your lives. The surf is dead in the morning from the epic hangover, but the memories are well worth the second degree manslaughter. I wonder... Let's go. Oh, that's my event thing, isn't it? Oh, look, we're so close to fucking prom. Oh, wait. I didn't know if you click, if you did this, it would tell you what, where you go to get what stats. That would have been good to know before, huh? Let's go get more charm. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place, but the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain plus two charm. Then you realize you're feeling like going full ghost with your blanket again. Oh no. You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. You're about to get closer when suddenly... Oh no. Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I'm here to rescue you from your mundane existence. Just sign these marriage papers. Not this guy again. Look! Whoa. Gasp, an underworld spectre. This again. 
What again? Liam, this is clearly a kick-ass powerful ghost. Look at its face, so deadpan, no expression at all. That's because it's not a face. It is a sheet with two holes cut in it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. That would be fucking metal. No, listen, it's not a face. It's... Ghost friend, help us. Save us from this interdimensional creep. Yeah, do something. Something ghostly. Mm. That is... It almost sometimes seems like the least effort one is the better one. Let's just throw a rock at him. I have a lot of boldness, so does that just not matter? Well, ouch, that was rude. So, that was your plan? Throw a rock at him and now what? That wasn't chivalrous or ghostly. I'm rather disappointed. Violence is cool, but vanilla violence is lame as fuck. If you were going to throw something at him, throw an angry panther at him or a, a super rock, whatever that is. I expect a better performance from people who intend to save me. Whoa, everyone's a critic now. What a lame ghost you are. She is not a ghost. You leave the four of them to solve their own tricky, non-consensual abduction situation while you reflect on your ghost skills. Could it be that you're not a good ghost? You thought that wearing a blanket with two holes cut in it was enough. Now you lose two smarts and one creativity. Well, that's fine. Alright, what do I actually want to get up? I want to get up my fun. This is fun, right? That's bold. That's smart. That's money. That's creativity, so this is smart. Hey, and it's the cat, never mind. <laughs> I am speechless. Did I miss this before? You know, for good old blood rituals, or in case you're just a creep with an unhealthy obsession, don't even dare ask me how I got this. What else is there? Sexy fake Latin accent. Whatever. Yeah, who would want to save money for their college fund when you can spend it on weird stuff that's most likely useless? That's a spirit champ. Whatever. I'm just buying whatever. This is probably a... Whatever. I'm just not gonna be able to make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it to prom. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they're undead. You know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my moment, Graham. Haha, <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At no point did I agree to. I've got a huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challenges. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British ch <laughs> British chat. <laughs> I think they're both equally marvellous, says the overly nice British judge. So what, this is the... Um, Great British Bake Off or whatever the B British Bake Off? Fuck, what's it called? I don't actually watch it, but... I know people. I know some people who do. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Whose meal is, tr uh, whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Uh, Liam's, because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Polly's, because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for a cat. Oh hell yeah! What unbelievable! That's not even food. Why isn't even food? That pile of yarn you're knitting in that frying pan. That's clearly a set of pajamas for a cat. I want that. Oh, was it supposed to be food? Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. Yes, it was supposed to be food and yours is obvi and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah, then how come it won the food contest, huh? Well, because... Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll catch you all later. I gotta go find a cat to put these pajamas on. Later, you run into Polly again and she lets you pet her kitty. If you know what we mean. So I'm already in? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it means you get to pet the cat she put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? Oh my god, we're so close to finishing it. This was not 60 minutes, although the end might be longer, so it might be 60 minutes. Um, I still need to go have fun. Where was fun again? Oh fuck, fun was here. 
Uh, that day during recess, you start half hour raves that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical Latino cat. You start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow, the blow up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. You could start doing something productive, or you could put on your blanket and get up to some good old ghost shenanigans, because that's gone so well for me. That's gone so well for me so far. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might- <laughs> Oh great, we're- We're meeting Polly. You're looking for someone, but you run into the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception, apart from boring Liam. Hiya! Wait, what's this? Another ghost? No, I can't believe this. Finally, somebody else notices. This is clearly just Valky wearing a- I can't believe it because it's too cool to be true. Come on, it's not cool or true. He's like the straight man to everyone else's ridiculousness, isn't he? Liam, I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over all your jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? We have to share so much ghost gossip. Or ghost sip, as I like to call it. Hmm, good question. Time to improve a lie with another bigger lie. I only tell how I died on the third date, boo. Ghost wink. I don't know. I don't know, but again, this is like an absolute fucking 50-50. Either one could be the one, you know. So I'm just gonna go with that one. Ah. Whoa, so enticing. I mean, to me, third date is always the hardcore stuff. Shibari, highly dangerous sex toys, or meeting the parents. So that means you died in some awesome and stupid fashion. Probably something involving sharks or bath salts. Or none of that, since she is just Valky wearing a blanket. For God's sake, Liam. Why don't you wear a blanket somewhere else? Come on, ghost friend, let's go do something ghostly, like pet some llamas. That's definitely not a ghost thing. It is if you're a ghost, duh. And then you spend a great ghost evening petting some silly llamas. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Oh god. It's not gonna work, is it? None of them. <laughs> Polly. Ask Polly to the prom. Oh, she's gonna say no. Oh god, <laughs> this is actually my heart right now. Hey boo, prom? Nah, ghost on ghost is like super vanilla. I have enough ghost with myself. If you were something else, like maybe a zombie or a a a gin, sorry, I always forget how to say that. A, a gin, or a Frankenstein's monster, or the very concept of fear. But no, you're clearly a very realistic ghost, just like me. Wait, you actually are one of those things. Polly out. And she phased out before you can take off your stupid blanket. God damn it. I got an achievement called Epic Loser. Prom night sucks. Why did you decide to ask anyone to prom while wearing a blanket? I don't know, that wasn't my choice. You pretended to be a ghost, yet you're the one haunted by the ghosts of your failures. Boo. Most likely to survive for a year drinking only her own pee. One less piece of unfinished business, suckers. Wait, I didn't see what that other graph was. Those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. After some years, the princess dimension became a democracy, mostly due to the public discontent with royalty that spends most of its time in other dimensions. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high school and is still wrong on so many levels. Polly's drug cooking skills uh, proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. Who the fuck is that? I never met her. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon-flavoured ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. Vera realised she was a character in a video game, which infuriated her, of course it did. She spent her life making connections and building power because she's not part of the game, she plays the game. So be careful, maybe now she's the one pulling your strings. For those six weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life and then it was gone just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. 
But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Alright, well, as expected, we didn't get to go to, uh, we didn't get to go to prom uh, with the person we chose, all because of a stupid item I picked up. Let me have a look at that achievement I got. Uh, epic loser. You've been rejected for the first time. go again for a poly right I'll just go again for poly the problem is I'm gonna be like reading a lot of stuff over and over again I feel like I mean I know there's probably a lot of scenarios so I won't be seeing every single thing um, again As expected, we did not get to go to prom with the person we chose. You've just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. This is about to get weird. Well, yeah, I don't want to read that. Eight new images in the ga gallery. Um. Well, that's not what it looked like. But I guess we get all of them at once. Oh, we didn't... No, right. fine. <laughs> There's a lot to get. There's actually a lot to get. I don't think I'm gonna do everything. On the, uh... uh on, on the recording. Sorry, I'm just... Look at my girl. Who is this? Like, I don't know who this is. I've never seen this person before. Fan art. That's cute. I can see Vera being a favourite. Yeah, who is this? I've literally never seen her before. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of characters I haven't seen before, which is maybe this is spoilers. Producer, lead artist, a writer. It's cute. They've got art of themselves made. Where's the new ones that I haven't seen? Oh, the concept art. Alright, we've seen everything here now. And I will be back with. Um, I might buy this. Like, there's a Steam sale going on right now. I might buy it. Ooh, mod tool. Okay, anyway, before I get freaking distracted. Uh, yeah, so that was me failing. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye!